New information tonight about a dispute between two Fairfield neighbors that police say turned deadly. That's right. Neighbors telling us the two have been involved in an ongoing feud that ended today with one dead and the other in the hospital. It happened shortly before 11 this morning on Willett Court near Clay Bank Road and East Tabor Avenue. KCRA 3's Melanie Wingo is in Fairfield tonight. And Melanie, you talked with family and neighbors. What are they telling you tonight? Well, it's no secret that the two people involved in this incident had had previous run ins with one another in their neighborhood. What is still a mystery tonight is how one person ended up in the hospital and the other person ended up dead in his garage. The family of a man found dead at his home sharing their grief. We're just getting news of the devastation of the loss of our brother. His sister telling KCRA 3 how he'll be remembered. He was a, a hard proud worker. Man very proud and loved his family. The man's family unsure of how their loved one died. We're asking for just prayers, hoping detectives will help shed some light on how it all unfolded. There was an altercation in the court between two neighbors. Um, that altercation ultimately resulted in one person go to the hospital with a stab style wound. Police heading to the neighborhood after the injured person showed up at the hospital. The other individual who's deceased, we're not sure what He's died from yet. Fairfield detectives still piecing together the homicide, saying they've paid many visits to this neighborhood before. There is a restraining order between them. On calls related to the people involved in the incident. Unfortunately, this neighbor, some neighbors in this court have had disputes historically, and those are the ones that are involved. Those facts, part of the investigation, according to police, so is surveillance video taken from the various homes on the block and forensic evidence collected from an SUV still parked in front of the man's home. Police saying this is an isolated and an unfortunate incident. It is sad. It is sad that uh, it's come to this in a neighborhood that obviously is very small. A family still in shock about what happened right in their own front yard. He was a wonderful brother, um, father, and we just ask that service uh, justice be served on our behalf. And we should note that we did make an attempt to knock on the door of the other person involved who is in the hospital tonight. We are told with life, non life threatening injuries. No one answered at that residence today and no charges, according to Fairfield police have been lodged in this case, but we'll continue to follow it. We do expect another update from Fairfield police on the incident first thing tomorrow morning. Reporting live in Fairfield, Melanie Wingo, KCRA 3 News. Melanie, thank you.